Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson. This is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. So tonight we are reviewing um, um, a TV series that was long overdue that to get reviewed, obviously. Well, not long overdue. It's just something we haven't got around to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Season 1. Two, now, that was made in 2018. Now, not to be confused. Fused with the early Sabrina TV mm-hmm. series, which yeah. was made for kiddies viewing. And this is a bit darker, this one. Yeah, that one was more of a comedy, yeah. you know, with Com- humour. Yeah, in comedy it. sitcom. Yeah. yeah. Which is but, not too bad. But well, this one here is actually a supernatural horror. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit darker. So, yeah, it's made for a more mature audience. It's mm-hmm. not for the kiddies. Yes, it's, <laughs> yeah, again, in this one, it makes out in this... The whole witchcraft, you know, is considered evil in some some. Well, some people consider it evil. Obviously, others think it's strange, yeah, and still a little, un, <clears throat> a little un, in the unknown. Yeah. And actually, this aired in between uh, October two thousand eighteen and December two thousand and twenty, and that's a whole season. I mean, that's, yes. that's the uh, that's why we're reviewing them episode yep. season by season. Yeah, two seasons, just isn't like it? when we did with uh, Slasher Queens, right? Yeah, well, we yeah, had to, yeah, we yeah, watched yeah. um we just watched uh, the mm-hmm. Chilling Adventures just last week so we'll hopefully catch up by this week to on our episodes to watch season two obviously later. Yeah. But anyway, before we get into it anyway, because uh, we're enjoying it so much. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like watching um, Wednesday Adams only uh, the, only her has more of a darker humor to it too, but oh, I different. love Wednesday. But yeah. there's no comparison <laughs> really because both both versions, both the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Wednesday, they both have the um, enough to grip you you and take your interest away in, grip, grip, in the big grip, way. Grip, grip, grip. Anyway, so this <clears throat> is pretty much a good one, and it's made um, based off the Archie comics. Yeah, well, yeah, the original Archie comic, comics from a long time ago, guys. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that, that was um, at the same time Sabrina yeah. the Teenage Witch. So, yeah. but so was the other one. Yes, it was. <laughs> so it does make much difference. So, but they didn't make mm. later on after they made the whole nice, you know, version of Sabrina the comic. Blah blah. They made a darker comparison years later with the same Archie comic company to, you know, intermingle the whole dark supremacist of. Evil witchcraft or bad witchcraft to give it a bit of a darker edge and creepiness using the characters from the comic to intermingle into the to the Sabrina's atmosphere a little more, a little Mm. giving it a little bit of the creepy edge it's looking for. Anyway, we won't mention too many of the of the directors or the producers because well, it, well, no, it, it, it's a bit complicated because also it, it was and it was a, it, was just, it was made for Netflix anyway so there were multiple producers and multiple yeah, directors multiple and different directors. things and multiple and, writers too and multiple writers and multiple cinematographers and anything that stayed the same was the actors so well, yeah. but what I will say it was it was actually made direct, uh, for, directly for Netflix hmm. So it didn't hit the uh, TV circuit per yeah. se. I think um, the ordinary television has become even more and more no, less no, watched. It's, no, it's still there, but it's just that... It's um, there. Yeah, but these are... But it's not... Get, get, I think more and more people are going to Netflix or other streaming and places. And other places and stuff, yeah. I, get, mm. I even got informed by my sister that she's looking at getting Netflix on her... She's got it. Yeah, got Netflix. She's got it, yeah, yeah. So she's actually joined... The rest of us, or rest of the well, commu- world, who I are into don't Netflix. Necessarily use it. I don't watch it either. I, I, well, I haven't got time. I got all my other ones to go through. So because Netflix <laughs> and like a lot of streaming things, like Netflix and and Disney and Shadow, it's hard to keep up with everyone. Yeah, and I got so I got so much product I got to go yeah. through anyway. There's, so it's there's also a lot of yeah. other ones like Sony and well, uh, you, and, you know, there's a lot of streaming ones. sites and different things. And there, yeah, it's just hard to keep up. So anyway, know, anyway, let's move on to the actors. Um, yeah, we won't. Well, I will say, um, yeah. There's no um, point in looking at box office because it went directly to television. I will say it was developed by a guy called Roberto Aguirres uh, Casa. I think mm. it's his. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it correctly. S- um, he developed the series. Um, mm. 
So I don't want to sort of leave too many people out there. There are mm. lots of producers and stuff. And, yes. Um, blah, 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 blah. Lots of some photographers, editors and stuff. Yeah. Mm. No, I'll leave that alone. Uh, mm. I'll just go straight in the actors. Uh, now, uh, having mm. said that, we have a lot of actors. <laughs> so, mm. so I'm only going to stick to the main couple, okay? Yeah, true. Kira, Kiernan Sipka plays Sabrina Spellman. Mm. Uh, and she works out pretty dang good. And she mm. comes over as a sweet, fresh-eyed little girl who's late teens, early 20s. Yeah. That sort of she thing. She comes off as just yeah, like the young... Yeah, late yeah. Like her. Yeah, they're really sweet and nice and everything. But and then she finds out um, uh, she has to make a decision. Yeah, either choose yeah. the mortal world or, or the witchy, witchy world. world. Yeah, so. A very big decision which kind yeah. of affects... Well, would, af- would affect her entire life. That would mean that yeah. she'll have to give up everything that she considers in the real world. Now, okay. now a guy called Ross, Ross Lynch plays Harvey Kinkle, Kinkle, her charming mortal boyfriend. Yes. He's, he's a nice guy, and he, and, and, and he does a pretty uh, good role of the... Uh, mm. he's, he reminds me of... Um, mm. What's we call it in... Um, Buffy. Um, mm. What's the... Uh, they want a lot of Buffy. The, 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 the mortal guy. Uh, um you know, running like a little puppy dog after and stuff um, here. Um, Jeffrey. The dark haired boy. Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey? Um, are we talking about the movie or TV series? I thought it was a TV series. Oh, uh, don't you mean Angel? No. Then I don't even know who you're talking about. She had a boyfriend. Uh, I think you're talking about Riley. Is it Riley? Yeah, whatever. You're, t- you're t- telling me the story. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't remember his name, mm. but he, he was always hanging around and trying to, yeah, but obviously uh, Buffy had other ideas. Anyway, um, now, Miranda Otto plays Zelda mm. Spellman, one of the nice aunties. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we actually met her recently, we which did, is great. Yeah, so that, um, a film event, a film event uh, at uh, Screen week. Queensland. Yeah, Queensland. just last Screen week. Queensland. We yeah. It was rather cool. She was, I think... There was a yeah. point that she was going to this beta supernova in either Melbourne or New Brisbane or the Gold Coast. Who's telling the story? I don't know. But Whatever. she turned it down <laughs> so she can take part in this yeah, sort of... Yeah, it's great. We had an all-day seminar type thing of all different people in the industry yeah. and she was a guest speaker, so that's great. Yeah, the bad thing mm. the thing was I was hoping I might get one-on-one talk time with her. Like Me the too. other... Yeah. other Speakers, which stuck around to talk to the other anyway, actors and um, stuff. Can I go through the list go of on. goodies? Okay, a lady called Lucy Davis plays Hilda Spellman. She plays a bit of a, wouldn't say stupid, but yeah, you know, um, the silly one. The, si- the silly one, yeah. And she's, mm. and, and she's a soft, gentle soul. Yeah, they yeah, somehow yeah. they maintained that part of the story yeah, where the she, you have Zelda, the serious one, and, and you Hilda have the comedy, the light-hearted, one, light-hearted yeah, yeah. aunt. Now. Adding an extra one here, there's a guy called Chance Perdomo. He mm. plays uh, Ambrose Spellman, mm. who's um, a warlock, a cousin from England. Yeah, now, he's, he, he's um, been. Is, is he sort of? Um, he's under house arrest. If that's house the arrest for being a bit naughty, so he's stuck there working for. Oh, by the way, they actually they own. Um, what do you call it, a morgue? Not a morgue. Um, a morgue. Yeah, a, I think a, morgue, a, funeral a, morgue, a funeral home. A funeral home. Yeah, and he works the funeral home. What yeah. a nice job for him. Suitable. Um, I'll it's do about one or two more. Um, mm. Oh, yes. Michelle Gomez plays Mary Wardwell. And mm. she plays... Well, I don't know what you... She's a... She's, um, a nice girl. No, no, not a nice girl. She's a school teacher lad, you's buddy with Lilith. Oh, yeah, yeah. She took over the school teacher and stuff. And Sorry. she's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> And she's trying to uh, manipulate uh, oh, yeah. Sabrina and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, she's also late. We later discover at the end of season one that she turns out to be Madame Satan, possibly yeah. from <clears throat> who's sent by the devil or Satan to get Sabrina to sign her name into his little black book. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I won't go into too many. Uh, I'll drop down here. Um, no, he's not, me- not mentioned there. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, Richard Coyle plays the head of the Coven too. Richard uh. Coyle. Um, uh, I'm looking at who plays the pussycat. Meow. Uh, There's also a cat named Salem in this one, just like it did I prefer the original Salem. <laughs> very chatty. <laughs> yeah. Although we did no. see in episode one, he did talk... In a sinister way. Yeah, but not a lot. I, I, yeah, I like the bit more of the 
Mm. Yeah, and the familiars in this one, they're not witches turned into cats or animals. It turns out the familiars are demons or or ghouls <clears throat> that have been taken on the form, take on yeah, the yeah, form, yeah. and become sort of a servant to yes, the witches to protect them and help them and do do, do groovy things or mm. not whatever. Yeah, okay. I think that's about all I want to go for. Yeah, there's, sure. there's just lots of people here, but mm-hmm. you can't see pussy cat. So um, mm. nah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, might let you roll with it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so it takes place with Sabrina. She's an um, ordinary teenager girl going to ordinary high school with her boyfriend and her two friends. Um, what's her name? Um, uh, Roz. And her friend Theo, who's has a hard time of dealing with horrible, you know, guys at school. The popular <clears throat> posh, but very nasty guys. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mean, 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 yeah. Yes, exactly. So, and... Of course, Sabrina is told, but when she reaches her 16th birthday, she will have to sign her name in this, you know, book of shadows. Com- to commit. To commit yes. to her, mm. her life as a witch, and that would mean that she would have to say goodbye to her mortal life and, you know, attend the, the Black Magic Academy, I think. Isn't that right? Yeah, somewhat. Yes, so... so they, but they, initially they do a trade-off. So as long as she goes to the Witch Academy, she can also be part of the mortal yeah. world in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of friction. Yeah, that's the word, friction, about her wanting to stay in the mortal world or continuing being training herself to be a witch. And she struggles with this throughout season one, I understand. I don't know what's going to happen in season two. Not matters, but we'll find out soon. Anyway, so she goes on these amazing adventures, all the time hiding the fact from her friends about her her witchy, you know, backstory. Yeah, she, she's raised somebody from the dead and it goes wrong and mm. different things. And, yes. And, yeah, and so they got to put the person down and stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, not re- it's, yeah, it's not for the kids. It's, and, uh, no, of course, no. there was a time when in one episode where um, her aunts and her, they end up having um, a, a witch or demon um, who kind of possesses, uh, gets them to fall asleep and dream you know, whatever, all the time, causing them to break because it's a barrier around their house, a protective oh, yeah, barrier. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyone evil or or not so evil can, can't escape that place anyway. Can't get in, can't get out. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, this <clears throat> protective barrier is good. Is, um, there's always going to be a few unexpected visitors like this Mary... What, you know, who's Mrs., who Madam Satan, who... Who kills Sabrina's t- teacher? It takes over her. Takes uh, over yeah. her body, and starts yeah. trying to be, a th- be all the time trying to make sure that Sabrina will somehow screw up and get her to sign her name in the book, causing a lot of problems. Like, oh, cause who is called the reason why Sabrina ends up resurrecting Harvey's brother, and. And when her boyfriend found out about her witch stuff, he... He wasn't terribly pleased. No. It turns out Serena tries to erase this this knowledge from Harvey a cu- twice, I think. Yeah. And, but somehow along the lines, she begins to su- suppress the fact that her boyfriend will never accept her witch side to her. Is that right? Something like that. Yes. On, on you know, the fr- we haven't seen series two yet. So yeah. Yeah. In episode one, of course, she refuses the, to submit herself under the um, whole witch book thing because she thinks that means that she'd be handing over her soul to the devil. And yet yeah, a bit more... Uh, a bit of a trade-off. And, and be ordered what to do. You wouldn't have too many choices of, yeah. you know, if you sign here, you will do my yeah. bidding. You're given things, power, yeah. but in exchange for possibly servitude, servitude mm. which is not really good. Mm. And they came. there was a lot of problems, like they, they ended up going to witch court over it and stuff like that. Yeah, causing, constantly getting in trouble. Yeah. Of course, they do eventually come up for compromise where she stays in the um, academy on, you know, in the, probably in the afternoons or in, in some parts, while still studying in mortal school with all her friends around her. All the time she continues to hide the fact that she's a witch. Of course, um, by the time 
sh- her friends start suspecting something is amiss. We also discover that one of her friends, Roz, is going blind. And oh, yeah. she's also developing this sort of no, no, psychic no, ability. No, uh, um, okay, Roz's grandmother? Yes. She's an old blind lady who's got what she calls the cunning. So she knows things. She can <laughs> sense things. So and it says when she was going blind, this mm-hmm. skill mm. developed. And it's part of a curse on their family. Yeah. I also yeah. heard, mm. think, Theo might be, have the ability to see ghosts because we yeah, see... Yeah, she's been seeing a, a her, great-grandmother or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, some sort of great, great-grandma or something. at sorts. And she's appeared to her, say, several times. And I keep wondering whether or not she's maybe developing the ability to see ghosts. You know, like... Or well, selected ones, anyway. Selected those. <laughs> I mean, it's we only just seen one ghost in her... And I kept wondering, is this a ghost or is it a demon or witch tricking her? I'm, I'm still thinking that. It's giving lots one. of good advice and stuff too. Because most of the time yeah. you can't, you it's know, to be mm. too sure about things. But yeah, yeah, we'll watch this space and see what happens. Hey. Yeah. yeah. By the time um, the um, her teacher decides to do one last way of getting. Sabrina to sign her name in the book by summoning the 13 witches who ha- got hanged by witch hunters and stuff. Oh, yeah, so many years earlier, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> and these witches, they were very angry, meaning that Coven abandoned them and they want to take revenge on not only the town's people, but, but the, the, Coven. um, the Coven. Covens yeah. themselves. So they go into sort of a lockdown and, of course, Sabrina and her aunts come up with a way to save the mortals by pretending that a tornado was coming through there. Yeah, and that way they got them into one place. They can put a container uh, out in the a barrier container. around yeah. them so the evil couldn't get in. Yeah. yeah, of course they did this. But then some uh, somehow weird stuff starts going down where, um, mm-hmm. where Zelda is summoned to be a midwife to Blackwood, um, a headmaster, Blackwood's, Blackwood's wife. to deliver her two children, obviously. And... Let me see. What, oh, yeah, Ambrose was some. He, he was taken by his friend, his boyfriend, to to the um where the witches were, you know, hiding too, obviously. And this leaves Sabrina and her aunt Helda to try to keep things contained. And then, <laughs> but then Sabrina ends up going to decides that she'll sign her name in the book, obviously. And there she also encounters none other than Satan himself in his demon-like haunted and who form. You know, you may have seen him, you know, that looks part goat, part, you know, man. Yes. Yeah. Standing up. Yes. And, of course, she signs the name and her hair goes a bleach whitey color. And we do notice the change, obviously. Mm. Of course, once... She and her friends were safe. There is more friction between her and Harvey, meaning it doesn't look like things will ever be the same between them. Is that right? Well, that that's implied, but I mean, Harvey still loves yeah. Sabrina and stuff, and yeah. I think love will conquer all. Hey, that but, sounds good, doesn't it? But yeah, soon, when nice. uh, there's a special episode, which is like a Christmas episode, where in that one, um. The um, Sabrina wants to summon her mother to ask for love advice from her and how she handled marital warlock and stuff. Yeah, because well, her 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 mum was immortal and she married a warlock. So mm-hmm. that's so poor little Sabrina is a yeah. half cast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While this is happening, um, a lot of other stuff starts happening. Like her friend becomes a victim to a kidnapping by a demon of sorts. And the mm. Spelbans, they got um, some ghost children witches attacking their home, like poltergeists. Oh, yeah, they, they, they come from that witch up the mountain or something. Yeah, yeah. the witch mountain come, does come and takes her offspring away, obviously. And she also gets summoned again to help her friend, Theo, who was being attacked by this demon to be because this demon plans on dipping her in wax to make her into one of those mannequins figurines that he has on display sort of like a uh, little wax bit like works. house of wax mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's very creepy and, Gold, and, Gold and Vinny. I like or L, it, like yeah. in tourist trap only a little more creepier no, i like it i like it i like it's a price yeah, yeah. 
We do, anyway, again, Sabrina and Harvey's relationship is still at a delicate stage at this point because he still doesn't want any magic to interfere with whatever he's getting up to. Any magic he wants was... No, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. No, don't go there. So that was season one. I'm, I'm sorry I'm jumping from bit to bit. I'm just saying that... Well, we can't go for the whole or every episode. It's yeah. more or less the fact Sabrina's struggle for living in the mortal world and still maintaining her witch, witch you, know, inher- you know, abilities and all the time struggling with w- about her parents' you know, backstory. Like, why is she, the fact that her dad and mum baptised her and kept it secret from each other, obviously. Because yeah, her mother baptised yeah. her in, in the Catholic the Christian, Church. Or Catholic Christian Church, yeah, yeah. And her father baptised her in, in the, the Black Mass type way. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, making, okay. her, making the... It either Very confusing. confusing. and stuff. <laughs> anyway, so... I don't have a... I don't have any meat and um, beef against this TV series. I think no, I, I think actually, it's pretty good. Actually, I'm, I'm, I must admit, comparing it to the original one, mm-hmm. the, the original one was really good. I loved it. It was fun. I loved the two aunts and everything else. Mm. But this here is a more mature look at it of the same sort mm-hmm. of feeling, but mm-hmm. it's darker. And you got similar humour. Mm. From the aunts, mm. uh, yeah, one, one series and one not, and different things, and mm-hmm. yeah, uh, it works quite nicely. And the girl playing Sabrina, mm. uh, she's done a sterling job. She's really good. Um, uh, Kenan, is it Kenan, Kenan Shipka? She's a good little actress. Yeah, uh, she yeah. plays it really well, and yeah. I like. I like the fact that it takes place in an oh, alternate so yeah. type in the world where it feels like like. Mm. There's a mixture of different eras involved, like 1950s, 1960s. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Some, and some ones that, a yeah, modern yeah. period where you yeah. see modern-day equipment stuff like mobile phones or, yeah. you know, stuff like that. I do like the fact that the aunt's living in a funeral home. That was yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that, that's a nice touch, that. Yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Well, get, yeah, yeah. Giving it that um, total gothic you know, feel and, and, and the house is really nice looking. Yeah, no, no nicer style, mm-hmm. gothic y, seriously looking yeah. uh, house, v- very morbid looking house yeah. on the outside. Yeah. And of course, Sabrina's cat's backstory is different, of course, unlike the other one being a witch, blah blah blah, and stuff. In this one, it, she sums it in the some, some, she, su- you know, summons. Sum- summons it in the woods. But, you know, using a spell, you know, as a bit of a... And it arrives there in her house, thinking that she, it's um, possibly a demon going to hurt her, but it just says, I heard you in the woods, and I came. And it appears as a cute little kitten. And she a does... A black one, obviously. Yeah, and of course, uh, her aunts are offended by the fact it's called Salem. You know, Salem, trials, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read the history. Was, yeah, <laughs> but it was uh, all the cat's off, idea. Of course, most of the time the cat and Sabrina and Sabrina do talk to one another, but in a meow owner kind of way. She, yeah, she, she talks to the cat. The cat goes meow. Like my cat should. Mm. It would uh, be interesting if somehow the demon within the cat came out and she manages to talk to it in that form too. But who knows? Maybe in season two we might find out if we do get to see more of it. Yeah, like come out. Hey, Salem, come out. What do you want? Yeah. Mm. Bugger off. I'll go back in the cat again. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah I yeah, don't yeah. think I think that more or less it's it knows its duty in it being a, a goblin or ghoul or whatever, or whatever it is. is. Yeah. Modern anyway. ghoul. Ghouls it's a, a creature that eats dead bodies and stuff. Mm, yeah. True. Yeah. Anyway, it manages to do a good job, including protect her when she was in a yes. sort of it won't have to change. It didn't have to morph into a demon shape or something rather. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, does yeah. appear in when she's in the maze, the uh, hay maze obviously. When, and it attacks the scarecrow in, in one of the episodes. Oh, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, and all that. Anyway, so I don't have any issues with this TV series. I hope to actually see it's done well. it's done well. more of the episodes this week and get uh, and get my thoughts across. It, it, it's good when you it's good when you find a series that actually works. I agree. Now, I've been watching a lot of series lately. I've been watching La Brea and 
Oh, going through looking at The Walking Dead and then this, mm. the, the, the follow-up to that and other shows and just going through uh, revisiting some. And it's like some storylines on some series were quite nice. You know, you mm. got you got different stories in each episode, but you got the link going through the whole, the overall story mm. working in really good together. And, and it works the same as these sort of things where, where the chilling events of Sabrina... The original Sabrina, uh, whatever. I mean, they, they, they do it well. I, I, I've got to take my hat off to the writers mm. who make it so real. Like, okay, my favourite one, I saw a couple of, I, I revisited House MD. And, okay, every episode, he got into trouble doing something wrong and mm. a different patient, blah, blah. But the overall thread of the story just went on and on. And the, the relationships between the people uh, were developed and destroyed and nurtured and everything all the way along the line. Mm. So, yeah, I, it, I don't know how the writers do it. Me too. I mean, it, it's a very complicated process when you're working on a series uh, yeah. to keep it interesting. Uh, mm. When a movie is how you work, I've got 90 minutes or uh, 120 minutes we've got to play with here, a bit of a backstory, yeah, you go, here's a story, really nice, let's put it to bed. But with a series, it could go on like um, with Game of Thrones. That went on for... Season after season after season after season, and they still kept it interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm rooting yeah, I gotta take you gotta take your hat off to them. Yeah, that's so, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, I have no issues with this, and so I kind of like the way things are going, and I can't wait to actually see season two. So we this, might see some tonight. Hey? Yeah, mm. we might see some more tonight, or we may this week, obviously. So anyway, let's rate this now. That's a let me see, well, okay. as a whole, obviously, for season yeah, one. No, for, uh, well, it's, 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 it's the first part of season one. So season one is part one and part two, mm. and then season uh, two uh-huh. is actually season two, part one and part two. So it's actually uh-huh. four blocks. Mm-hmm. So we're halfway through season one, which is the first mm-hmm. block. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, now, what I'm going to say is, yeah, as a, as a whole, yeah, I've got to say that's one of the best... I won't say quite family orientated, but no. um, you're looking at the wrong st- no, no, sort but, of text yeah, if you did that. Um, mid to late teens, early twenties, maybe young, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, uh, people, maybe even the thirties, forties. Like I'm, I'm seventy and I'm enjoying it. Mm. Um, it's fun. It's serious enough to make it adult viewing. Mm-hmm. Instead, of, it, it, um, yeah. So it's, I find it great. I'm going to give it nine, 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 half, nine. Nah, I'm going to give it a nine. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 too, obviously. Yes. I always think that I do like that feeling of darkness as well as a mixture of, of wholesome niceness about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got the, the light and the dark, the good and the bad. And um, Sabrina is the light. Mm-hmm. And she's bringing her well, aunts into the light a bit too mm-hmm. because their coven isn't the yeah. lightest coven around. <laughs> well, I just mean yeah. like Sabrina represents two sides. Her, yeah, but it's also her... a good side, to, the, the good side of magic. Yeah. She wants to help people with the magic, mm-hmm. not be selfish with it. And they yeah. say, you can't get involved with the mortals. Yeah. Yeah. But she wants to help mortals. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. that she represents two sides, like yeah. she, her mortal side and her her wicked side obviously and yeah. then her wicked side uh, her witch side is the uh, is the the darkness that represents life and her mortal side is the stuff that she sees every day her school life her nice friends and all that stuff even though her friends they still step into a little bit of the darkness themselves they considering do. the fact that one of her friends is starting to see things of the future or the past, and her friend might be mm-hmm. seeing ghosts. I don't know. I might. I have to wait in we season two. Thinks he is, but we have to see. We don't know whether it's a yeah. demon or to ghost. We, we, we might. We may find out over the next couple of episodes. And yeah. we don't know. Well, we actually do know. At the end of season one, we find out Harvey King calls relatives from. Years ago, were witch hunters, and yeah. maybe and, might... and they actually were a resp- part of the team that actually killed the witches and stole their land from them. Mm-hmm. Ah. And her, his dad is a a miner, you know, one of those yeah, people yeah, who work yeah, in the mine. Yeah, well, 
Do you know that we didn't have a mind? He's, he's over 21. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> he tries to force Harvey to become a, mine, uh, a miner. A miner. Uh, well, yeah, join in the family business, son. Yeah. Yeah, 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 What's yeah. so good about being a miner? Give me that. Oh. Ask me that question. Well, you can't go and get a drink. Yeah. Oh, wrong sort of miner. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't even make sense why her, his father is so bent on him anyway, to be one. But anyway, actually, Despite a just, stupid tradition. Yeah, just going back to. Uh, genre and stuff. It's referred to as a horror, supernatural, dark fantasy, teen drama. Now, a it was teen. Mm-hmm. A little bit of comedy, like oh, this no, much. No, no, no not, not too much. Yeah, a bit, bit of lightness in it to, 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 to make the, 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 the darker stuff a bit darker. Mm. But teen drama, yeah, it says here teen drama, I'd say late teens. Mm-hmm. Unless you're. Uh, yeah. You've got a young teen who's into this sort of stuff, but it, it's a yeah. little bit darker. But, would, yeah. I wouldn't be showing my niece and nephew this. Yet. But they're not teens yet. Yeah, I wait until they she's are. She's nine and he's seven. Definitely yes. not. I'll show her the original one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but I wouldn't show her this one. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, um, where do you get it? I'm glad you asked. Mm-hmm. eBay. They are for sale. Hail. You can get the whole box set if you like different things, which is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Amazon. I didn't see it for sale, but it certainly is for rent. Um, it was originally released on Netflix. I'm not, I'm not on Netflix, and I don't use the streaming services very often. Uh, it, if you have a look on the streaming services, Netflix and some of the other ones, you might find it. But it's pretty cheap on Amazon Prime anyway. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, take the plunge, have a look. I'm, th- I'm sure you'll enjoy it uh, mm-hmm. because it's just one of those things which it's warm and friendly, but it's also a bit dark, which is yeah. good. It makes it interesting. I yeah, always yeah. like the balance of of dark and light, like Tim Burton's style, where he off he always has a good balance of dark and light. Well, you look at Willy Wonka, the um, what it, um, mm-hmm. yeah, the one he did, that was good, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. He, 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 and he made it more like Roald Dahl's original book, not yes. like the Gene Wilder version done, which is a good movie. Don't get me wrong, but that that was. That was based on the book, but they they changed it a little bit here and there. But the later one, they made it closer to the book, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, hey, yeah. I, I I like a bit of the balance. If you do it right, correctly, and enough to it will please the masses. If you don't do it correctly, you end up pe- you know pissing them, getting them really angry. <laughs> pissing them off. You can't say pissing off. You there might be kiddies listening to this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't say it's, pissing them off. It's, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I won't mention anything else on this one <laughs> podcast. So, the, you know where to find it, and now it's up to you guys to actually sit down and watch the thing. So be sure to check it out, and let us know in the comments what you guys think, and let us know what you guys think of season two when it when we do start well, yeah, reviewing we, it. Yeah. We might. Whether it's good or bad does not matter, just as long as we, you have well, a good we opinion. We may or may it. not do season two review. We're saying we continuation may. of the story, but um, if, if we do, we'll say, hey, it, it did well quite nicely. Because you know, I'd like to find uh, out wh- where the story is going down. Like like the term um, Alice in the Wonderland, I'd like to find out how far down Sabrina da- go, goes yeah. down the rabbit hole <laughs> in this series. What's up, Doc? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's my plan, in, you know, to find out what happens next. In s- yeah. So that's about it from us, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this podcast, and we'll hope we'll see you guys for the next one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mm, yes. So that's it from us. So have a good week, everyone, and I hope we will see you guys for our next podcast. So bye for now, and have a good week. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>